Hey, very good morning, everyone. Welcome to the briefing for Friday, the 13th of October. Uh, is a chart going to load today? Hopefully, we'll have a chart eventually. And perhaps not. Uh, either way, not very nice weather today. Um, hopefully, I'll get that for you in a moment. But uh, spot winds today, depends where you are in the country, uh, towards the south coast. Uh, it's pretty strong. Uh, it's showing 35 knots at flying height uh, from 230. Towards the centre of the country, it's a little bit lighter. Um, hopefully, it'll make a bit more sense if we get a chart. Uh, out to the east, 40, 45 knots at flying height. So, fairly windy today. Uh, current sat pick is showing quite a lot of activity. Um, a sort of various bands of cloud. I expect some associated fronts here. Um, no obvious centre of low pressure I can tell from here, but you can see there's lots of showers around and it's generally not very nice. Still not working. There we go. Uh, so yeah, midday chart uh, on here now. Uh, so yeah, low pressure down to our southwest. Uh, looks like we've got an occlusion over the top of us and a cold front out to the east. Notice the isobar is particularly tightly packed, uh, which is the reason why that wind is so strong. Looking ahead, a couple of days, it looks a bit nicer. Um, sort of this post-cold front. Uh, isobar is widening a little bit and the wind hopefully lightening and looks like we're on a ridge of high pressure. So um, bringing in a northerly flow by the looks of it. So I expect it's going to be quite cold over the weekend, but otherwise fairly settled. And Sunday looks much the same. Uh, fairly light winds, I expect. Uh, again, probably bringing in a sort of northerly air mass, so quite cold. Um, a bit of a strange order. Uh, rain currently quite a lot over the top of us. Uh, and actually looking at the forecast, it has significantly improved. Uh, going ahead an hour or so, it's pretty much cleared through. You can see we're in this area that's fairly clear for the majority of the day. Um, and it looks like... We will have the next band of rain getting to us sort of three to four o'clock. Um, but not, not a massive amount. It's certainly less than it had forecast. Uh, it looks like it's definitely going to be raining from about 4.45 onwards. And public forecasts are showing fairly dry until about four o'clock. Um, but the main thing being that wind, uh, which is gusting over 30 this morning and only really becoming within limits uh, going into the afternoon. But... Um, a much better day than we did actually have forecast um, a few days ago. Okay, top temperature, GFS is showing 90 degrees, with dew point set at 16. And that's the current view outside, fairly cloudy, a uh, little bit drizzly and windy. Currently 16.7 degrees with dew point set at 14.7. And Odium's uh, forecast, um, yeah, quite long. Uh, they had their work cut out for them this morning. Basically, it's few clouds uh fairly low this morning with prop 30s prop 40 of rain um going into the afternoon it's showing uh potentially scattered clouds at 1800 feet um they've that's pretty much all they've got for the afternoon and then from three o'clock utc onwards so 4 p.m onwards they've then got uh chances of broken clouds very low and rain and cunims and heavy rain showers so they seem to be sure it's horrible from about 4 p.m. onwards, but they seem to be optimistic from about midday to 4. Uh, Farnborough, much the same, would be a little bit shorter. Okay, top meteo, we've got 10 a.m. on here, and it's showing sort of some rain and low cloud in the Lasham area. Going ahead a few hours, it's showing it's slightly clearing up, although it thinks it's going to be drizzly all day. Uh, this is this is 2 p.m., and it's showing fairly clear with some drizzle around. And then showers were about 4 p.m. onwards. Uh, no, no times to affect today. And operationally, if uh, we did go flying, it'd be 2 3. Launch point in the normal position. And the winch probably down here somewhere. Uh, so standard 2 3 setup. Um, so there's no evening group. So if we do go flying, uh, everything will need to go back in the hangar. And there's no movements that I've been notified of today. Um, assuming we're not going to go flying for the majority of the day, uh, do still come along and we'll get you in the simulator. Uh, we could do some really good training on there, spend lots of time um, and not have to worry about the restrictions that we do in real life. Uh, in terms of flying today, I see there's not a lot of people booked in. There's about two 
So if you are serious about going flying, if, if it's possible, please give the office a call, let them know. Um, and if we do have enough people to go flying this afternoon and the weather does play ball, we'll give it a go. But at the moment, it looks like we probably haven't actually got enough people. So do let me know if you want to go flying. Otherwise, come along and use a simulator. See you on the airfield. Bye for now.